Hey there. Happy Taco Tuesday. A great Mexican food. So today we're going to do burritos. Steak burritos to be exact. And our first stop today is Maria's Restaurant in Simi Valley. Near the corner of Cochrane. What is, what street is that? Sycamore. Sycamore? Cochrane and Sycamore. Stop number two is here in Simi Valley. It's called El Guarachi. Guarachi. Authentic Mexican kitchen. Let's see how their steak burrito is. Everybody, Valley Dude here. We're going to try Maria's first. This is what the burrito looks like at Maria's. It looks pretty attractive. Okay, Hello there. The burrito right here? Yes, we're okay, eating it. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to cut the burrito in half. That was a young lady that uh, is over here at Don Cucos making sure that we had our food. And this is what it looks like it looks like it's got steak. It looks like real steak, some rice, and uh, let's taste it without any kind of added condiment. Oh boy, it's uh, some beans in there too. The tortilla is very fresh. The beef. It's a little chunky. It's actually hard. Well, this is Maria's. Now, I can add a little salsa to it. This is the salsa they gave us. So I'm gonna try a little bit of it. See if it adds to the, to the flavor. That's raw hot sauce. Did it add to the flavor? It's It added a little bit to the flavor, but you know what? Um, the beef is a little bit chunky. It's chunky beef. Hi. Sorry, were you able to cut it? Or yeah. It, okay, no, it, it cuts good. Thank okay. you. Okay, sure thing. You're welcome. And what's your name? Consuelo. Thank you, Consuelo. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. Okay. So the beef on this one is a little tough for my taste, but we'll see. Let's try a warache. The sauce was pretty spicy. Next is El Guarache. Guarache? Guarache. This one's uh, kind of uh, a little more, uh, it's a white tortilla also. Let's cut it in half. The guy there was telling us that this is a good burrito. He knew that we were doing this as we were leaving, so he wanted to let us know, come on Sundays here. Steak is softer, better quality steak. It has cilantro in it, but it's got a different flavor. <clears throat> Let's try their hot sauce. I think this is probably their mild, the green sauce is a little milder. Yeah, it's got that guacamole spicy taste to it. It adds to it. You know what? Um, 
The real toss up between these two, the thing that holds this one back, the taste is really good, but the beef is just tough and chunky. The beef is better at uh, El Huarache. Now we're gonna do all Cucos. Price-wise, they're all about the same price, which is interesting. Well, this is different. Big difference. This one's, I can't pick it up the way I picked these up. Um, fortunately, we're at the restaurant. And we're gonna cut this one in half also. It's covered in cheese. It's almost like an enchilada. And I'm gonna have to eat this with a fork because I can't use my fingers. Let's see the taste. Hmm. For my taste, Don Cucos. Number one. But technically, this is a wet burrito. Uh, that is, it, it has so much sauce on it and everything. And you can't compare dry burritos with wet burritos. So technically, it's sort of disqualified. Let me just tell you a little bit about Don Cucos anyway. The beef is very good. The beans are good. A little bit salty. But it's disqualified. Not that it's a bad burrito, but it doesn't compete with these two. Today's winner is gonna be El Huarache. This guy right here is what I expected to be really good. The good price, they're all $10 within 50 cents of each other. Some of them give you, give you chips. Some of them, you know, chips and salsa on some of them. And this one didn't, but to me, this was the best one because of the beef. The beef was good quality. El Huarache. El Huarache. Cheers to you from the Valley, dude. Have a great week.